Welcome to Embedded World 2023, and I'm excited to take you through the NXP booth and show you some of the really exciting new demos. Let's start with the ecosystem partner wall. All of these partners that we're working with are developing innovative products using NXP technology. Examples of that include our 8ULP, apps processor that takes energy efficiency to the next levels with both real time as well as rich OS capability, leveraging technology and architecture to get workloads to operate at very, very efficient power levels. And then on the other side of the wall, it's very exciting to see, so let's work our way through the crowd here. On the other side of the wall, we have the wall of IDATMX 9. Look at all of these partners across this wall developing vision-based systems, factory automation-based solutions, many with IDATMX 8s, IDATMX 9s, IDATMX 6s, continuing to proliferate the world with embedded systems with rich HMI as well as rich apps processor computing. So now let's go down the, this side and we can see we have our bistro over here. We don't have the HMI for the automated coffee machines yet integrated, but next time. But now let's come in here and take a look at the latest S32 G3. And this is our latest S32 G3 platform. It brings the latest in performance, both in compute performance and memory for the software-defined vehicle. It enables the running two Linux operating systems independently. It has isolation with abstraction levels as well as containers, so you can operate many independent workloads for all different both safety and real world applications on your car to customize the car through software definition of the future. Great development that is taking place within NXP affecting and changing the world in a positive way. And we still, like we showed in other uh, shows, the inverter control where we have a closed loop system with ML to do motor control, do anomaly detection, and to do augmentation and optimization of the system based on a time uh, sensitive network TSN capability that allows you to optimize the system. And then from a connectivity point of view, we have the orange box that enables all our connectivity capabilities to tap into the software defined vehicle, our Wi-Fi, our Bluetooth low energy, many connectivity standards that enable communication to the vehicle that allows us to make all the modifications of the vehicle of the future. So let's go over. So here we're talking about EV infrastructure, electric vehicle infrastructure, leveraging IDATMX 9, enabling a platform to develop safety, human machine interaction, EV charging metering, all the functions necessary to enable the electrification with the cars that are rolling out and the infrastructure that's necessary to uh, support that. Here we have a combination of our MCX and the next generation of microcontrollers. It contains integration of hardware acceleration for machine learning workloads in a microcontroller to do anomaly detection. It allows for, excuse me, uh, it allows for uh, different types of feedback mechanisms when you detect anomalous capability, such as fan speed, and you can use audio feedback. We have optimized GUI optimization and interfaces using our uh, GUI guider with the Stream Deck demo. And then we have our higher end crossover MCUs that take uh, HMI with voice, display, and camera based interfaces to the next level. Great progress around a scalable MCU portfolio to really create embedded compute platforms of the future. So let's now take a look at the factory automation and AFE. I want to hand it over to Clara. Thank you, Ron. In this demo, we are showing the smart factory of the future. Actually, what we are showing is the software-defined factory. And this is an NXP solution that enables the software-defined factory. Why the software, that why factories need to be software-defined? 
Well, we see a trend where the factories have to become much more versatile. They have to adapt to new product variants. They have to adapt to new technologies on sensors, on actuators. And every time that a factory line, lane needs to be rescheduled and needs to be adapted, you need to redo all the calibration of all the machines, change the sensors, and every sensor will be, have a different voltage that needs to be measured, a different current that needs to be measured, temperature, resistance, etc. So with our new product consists of an analog front end, the N NXP analog front end, together with the microcontroller, uh, which is the um, IDOT MX 1180. The analog front end is unique. It's unique because it allows us to software define and software configure the different sensors. It has four entries four analog entries. Those entries can be configured to measure low voltage in millivolts, high voltage up to 25 volts. It allows us to measure current. It allows us to measure different temperature resistances. That means that basically when we have to uh, change the machine, when we change the sensor, we can very simply with a user interface adapt the sensor, reconfigure it and there you go. The second key characteristic is very important that is the precision and accuracy. Our analog front end can measure very accurate voltages, current and resistance, which makes it a very uh, fine-grained control of our sensors and actuators. And the third one is predictive maintenance. We have two reference voltages that we can use to really see whether a voltage is deviating and being able to know that the sensor or actuator is going to fail before it actually fails. So all those three characteristics meet our sensor unique in the market. No other competitor has this on the market. And that's together with the competences of the micro, making all the processing, doing the time sensitive networks, that makes our solution the best solution for the software defined factory of the future. Thank you, Ron. Fantastic, thank you, Clara. And as you can see, hardware community out there, we're continuing to tell you, you are defined by software now. So let's go and look at one more demo. Come around here. Excuse me, guys, I just want to slip in here real quick. Excuse me real quick. So the final demo I wanted to uh, talk to you about is our factory automation integrating IDATMX 9 now as an apps processor control, bringing in real time and rich capability around motor control, around cybersecurity with integrated um, security modules that are industry leading and deterministic communication using TSN and fault detection, time deterministic management of packets. So a great step forward as we continue to expand our portfolio, both in the interface to control the factory and the apps in real time capability with time deterministic packet management and factory automation management. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this very quick tour of NXP at Embedded World, and I look forward to talking to you in the near future, so thank you.